to the cat and as a person. He used his kindness and has now met the man of their dreams. <laughs> oh, that's you. <laughs> no, the other one. She's not going to tip it. She's not going to tip it. I've got it. <laughs> okay. Let go. Let go. Let go. Okay. So now it's the turn of the green. So, over to you, Scott. She's going to grab it. <laughs> Really? Slap him. Right, I just want to start with my manly bit of the speech. Lauren, you look absolutely stunning. I'm sure you'll agree. Yeah. Well, seriously, the love of my love, I'm thankful for the most amazing four years of my life. If it wasn't for you, I don't know where I'd be. Give me the two most precious gifts a man could ever receive, and that's our two people. Even though that I'm going a little bit bold and brown top, it doesn't matter. We've probably got that from my dad. <laughs> this is honestly one of the happiest days of my life, and I'm sure it's yours. You found me so proud of this last year, with all your eyes and eyes on me, getting everything done with the problem. And so I can find this lose most of the time. And I'm sure you've all noticed that she's got a very creative story as well, and Noel's going to do that And I really hope none of them parts of my life because you will see more to that. Excellent. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm spending the rest of my life with you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. So that one day, when we're in our 70s, sitting in our bucket chairs, loving and joking away, sipping on cheeky bees, and just watch our friends play in the garden, and sit back and say to ourselves, yes, this is the time. And go on and on, how much is it? Yeah, I see what's going on. So for that, could everyone please stand and raise your glasses? Jesus. Thank you um, to Katie for making Lauren look even more beautiful. 
told by a few people in the building that you particularly love doing speeches. So, what we've decided to do is get you up here to use the microphone. The first joke out of the way. I'll start with the thank yous then, cheers mate. Firstly, can I uh, direct your attention to the stunning bridesmaids around the room, Samantha, Katie and uh, Joe over there. They've done a wonderful job, it's fantastic. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, say that again. Um, yeah, so if you could give them a round of applause, I know they've had it before. Nick, it's sound a bit boring. I like the fact the ushers, uh, Nick and Ashley, but unfortunately you don't look half as good as the bridesmaids do, so you only have, you don't really deserve a full round of applause. So I like everyone to join me in a single clap, because that's all they want. All right. Three, two, one. <laughs> and that's more more than you lot deserve, especially new you, Nick. Where are you? God, out, Bro, this ain't Tim Westwood, mate. Chill out. <laughs> I have to say, oh no, that's the wrong bit, sorry. sorry. <coughs> right, um, also I'd like to thank you all for coming, obviously the gifts you brought, they're going to enjoy that on their honeymoon, so thank you all for coming and making it a brilliant day. Um, last but certainly not least, <laughs> I'd like to thank Lauren. Um, definitely the focus of everyone's attention today, look how stunning she looks, um, everyone will agree, she can only be compared to an angel. Lauren, you look like one in a million. Pigeon, on the other hand, <laughs> you look like you're one in a raffle, mate. <laughs> I suppose it's customary to tell some stories about the groom. There are hundreds of stories I can tell about Pidge and me. Uh, they range from when we went on a school trip, one of the best times of my life, uh, canoeing down the Ardèche River in the south of France, lovely, to uh, him chasing his mates around his house with poo in his hand. <laughs> and yes, that was your house. <laughs> I might want to clean the floor. <laughs> but I'm sure 99% of the other stories will be pretty disgusted by. And there are 17 children here, maybe more. So uh, I'll keep that on tape. I will say though, back in the day, Pidge was one of the lads, always the centre of attention, proper joker. Um, I con he'd always constantly encourage all of us to do stupid stuff. For example, I remember one time he egged me to 
run down a jump in skellies. Do you remember that? In a wheelbarrow? Yeah. <laughs> nice brand new Lacoste jumper. Uh, Ed, Ed, Ed. Uh, yeah, I did that. Cheers, mate. Ended up in a ruined Lacoste jumper and a twisted ankle. So, thanks for that. <laughs> Cheers for the peer pressure, buddy. <laughs> However, all this, Scott, everyone look at me. I'm a massive dog pigeon. Had to stop at one point, didn't he? And so, she met, he met beautiful Lauren. Well, and since he met beautiful Lauren, since they've been together, I've not heard, I've not heard him moan once about the way she is. I've not heard, her, well not, I heard him say a bad word about her. And I'm not just saying that because she's here, it's true. He's, he's never put her down, he just says nice things about her. You can see by the smile on their faces that they're happy together. That's, That's it. That I said about telling stories and telling the truth. <laughs> And this is because, ladies and gentlemen, one thing, and that is, he's found his soulmate. And uh, his one, is all, is everything. It takes a few mistakes in life to find out what it is really all about. And that is finding someone who you truly will believe that will make you happy for the rest of your life. And this, my friends, is it. The definition of perfect, and it has been since day one, and you both know it. I don't even have to hope you two are happy for the rest, uh, with each other for the rest of your lives, because I know you will be, as does everyone else in this room. I'm getting a bit nervous. I love you both so much and your beautiful children and I've come to think of you as family. I'm so honoured you chose me to be the best man and you definitely made the right decision there because I'm the bestest best man ever. <laughs> anyway, I'd like you all to raise your glasses for the beautiful couple, Lauren and Pidge. I love you guys. Peace out. <laughs> A uh, big round of applause for uh, Honey did really well. So I believe the next thing is we're going to ask everybody to move outside. The bar is actually open. You'll be pleased to know. Yes, I got to announce that. He's already gone. <laughs> we're a little bit concerned that we've got three kegs of beer. So, we'll see how we get on with that later on. But so, uh, we're going to be moving all tables out and moving things around in here. We'll give you a shout when the disco starts. We'll do the first dance a bit later on. So, enjoy the nice weather. We'll see you shortly. What, this thing? <laughs>